Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 1st of 2020. Well, it is titled saltwater remnants on Ceres. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image or a short video clip that shows a part of the dwarf planet known as Ceres. Now, Ceres is the largest object within the asteroid belt, and it was thought to be rocky and icy or kind of a mixture. Uh, many asteroids can be rocky, some can be metallic, and some can be icy. And that's what Ceres was thought to be a, a combination of. However, when the Dawn spacecraft headed towards Ceres in 2015, some bright spots were noted and this caused great excitement among astronomers as to what these brighter areas might be. Now when the video plays, it'll just show a little animation showing some of these images and we can see that one of the areas around one of these deposits and they were found to be salt deposits. So it was found to be a saltier area and remnants of salt water and when salt water comes up to the surface and the water itself then vaporizes, then what's left behind are the salty materials and those form the white grains that we see here. And in fact, the pink color is a false color in the image is showing uh, some of some of this right here. Now this is a little different than we had thought Ceres would be, although it is very common in many of the moons of the outer solar system. In those moons, things like Europa have water ocean oceans down below the surface. Although it would be harder to imagine how a water ocean could exist on Ceres because on the larger moons there is the gravitational and the tidal effects of the planet itself. So Jupiter can tug on Europa and heated up inside. How is Ceres getting heated up inside is a good question. Although obviously at some point in the past this must have happened because we can see these deposits coming up to the surface. Now just because we see them doesn't mean that they are uh, recently formed. They could have formed long ago because Ceres is very heavily cratered and has not changed a whole lot over long periods of time. So it could have been that these formed a long time ago, although the fact that they're still that bright means that they have not been continually bombarded from space and covered up by large impacts. So it is interesting to study and interesting to think as to what this might have what might have caused this on this uh, dwarf planet. Now, Dawn spacecraft was there, uh, or actually is still orbiting around Ceres, but it has after its mission ended in 2018, it ran out of fuel and it is just in kind of a holding orbit unable to communicate with the Earth any longer, uh, but something high enough to keep it away from the surface of Ceres for at least a couple of decades. So that was our picture of the day for September the 1st of 2020. It was titled Saltwater Remnants on Ceres. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.